rappers tell them none can contest me gon' What's good, everybody? Welcome to the show. Power Raising Canaan, episode six for season two. First reaction. We here live to break it down. I'm here with Gina. What's up, Gina? How you doing? Hey, Jay. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Gina. Happy birthday, Jay. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, today my birthday. I'm here on the birthday. You're eight years old today, Jay. Yeah, times <laughs> a couple multipliers, but we're gonna go with that. <laughs> time, time zero, but uh, you know we're gonna make it work. Um, so uh, yeah, man, everybody, this was a good episode. I liked it. Uh, I got a good feeling about it with this first reaction. I mean, uh, what do y'all think, Gina? What What's your thoughts? About this episode, what's your first I reaction? I enjoyed it. Okay. I enjoyed it. I always enjoy the episodes. It's like my guilty pleasure. <laughs> okay. I thought it was really good. Anything stood out uh, this episode that you liked? Uh, uh Unique. Okay. In the mob sticks. All right. Making power moves up in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, you know, Kelly, what's up? What's your first thoughts, your first reaction for this episode? Anything that stood out? Well, Jay. Luga Camacho. <laughs> I listen, my neighbors, my neighbors are upset right now. I know they're gonna scream at me tomorrow. Well, because I was losing it, okay? Losing it. I loved it. I'm happy. It's about damn time. So that's definitely. what it is. <laughs> hey, definitely. Hey, Clown Camacho is no more finito. <laughs> um, that's one of the biggest things that stood out to me. But one of the things that really stood out to me is how uh, Waterhead Fareed bitch slapped old boy for talking about help you put a painting up. I paid you for for free. <laughs> Back to the conversation. <laughs> Damn, you know, he gorilla pimping out here in these streets, boy. So, yeah, so uh, I like it. It was a good episode. And uh, I'm interested to see how, you know, the rest of it play out. And these next four episodes, so much can happen. And okay. I'm here for it. It's going to be good. So, um, yeah. definitely. Um, I just want to thank a couple people that did send me something for my birthday. Uh, Cash App and uh, PayPal. I appreciate y'all for the support and things. Um, all right. So, uh, let's get into this episode. So, it's called Raising Canaan, as we know. A lot of people been upset because it's not moving at a certain pace that they feel it possibly should be. But they got to keep in mind that we watching him mature into the Canaan that we know. He can't just be that when he got up at 15, you know. So, um, one of the things that we saw to help him to be there is that he trying to get into the dope game and they basically making him start from the ground up um, and he brown bag guy. Um, what do you all think about them trying to like train him like he a uh, corporate employee and now he brown bag guy starting at the lowest, lowest form, a runner. Uh, Kelly, what's your thoughts on him being brown bag guy? I liked it. I thought it was cute. <laughs> um, you know, he part of the family business now and I like how he from the ground up, you know, that's basically how he was with Scrappy. So this is little promotion from being in in the stash house. I like it. And brown bad guy, don't ask no questions, okay? Take it to the bodega and let that be it. So right. this whole part with him, this whole scene, I loved it. I loved mm -hmm. it from the beginning till the end. Right. So yeah. Gina, what's I was thinking in this this um episode. 
Uh huh. Definitely. My bad. I thought you was you was uh. Sorry. It's all Long good. <laughs> yeah. G- Gina, what you think about him uh starting off as brown bag guy? And uh, I do like how they said. Kana said, "You supposed to be teaching me." He said, "I am." Stop asking questions. <laughs> yeah, he's always asking questions. Remember, he used to ask Scrappy. He asked Scrappy about the door. Yeah, but um, he gotta know. I mean, he gotta know. You gotta start from the beginning. Understandable. That's your mom, but you don't just hop, you know, right into it. So that wasn't surprising that you would be the paper brown, you know, guy. Mm-hmm. And your answers are not going to be answered. I mean, your questions are not going to be answered. You got to start from the bottom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I mean, I get it. And I understand all of that. Uh, me personally, I don't know if I would have made my son, if we, we was in this same position, uh, start that low. I would have probably made him know about it, maybe. Um, but it turned out it was good experience because it didn't go right, and he, he he was forking it up, um, as we know he always does. So you know, maybe it turned out to be the right move because it's not that bad of a mess up with just that one brown bag versus if he'd had more responsibility and messed it up. Right. Yeah. Now we see he get rolled on over here, and in a way, it's kind of like a uh, famous beef because that's why they really came messing with famous, and they just took his bag as a side note. Um, yeah, they run your bag too. Yeah. So, uh, Gina, what you think about this right here? Um, did Kanan really owe famous? Uh, is it famous fault? Kanan fault? Are they in it together? What you think? What, what's your think about this uh, situation? They were together at the time, so I do think that they in it together. Okay. I mean, if you're standing there when it happens now, you know, if he came to get him after, then that's totally different. But he was right there with him, and then his mom's stuff got stolen as well, so, yeah, you gotta go get that back. Mm-hmm. What he you, always told him since he was like what eight years old. He's over with them or he's over with me. Mm-hmm. Right. That's, you don't true. Want no for her. that's true. That's a great point right there. I forgot all about that. Good memory, Gina. Gina brought it all the way back to the day one. <laughs> Kelly, what you think about this and uh this dude right here, Robin Kanan? He knew who Kanan was in his family, and he still pulled a gun on him. What? What is? What's up with that? And what that? What you think that meant? He don't care. He a stick him up kid. He, you know, he out there in the streets. I think that he did come for famous chain. But remember back then, I only remember Gina. They was robbing people jam sports. If you had the strings on it or whatever, they was taking people to transport. So I just think that you know the fact that he had it on his back, then boom, that had to go too, right? But um, to me, initially, he came for for famous chain. Um, I love it. <laughs> okay, All I right. love it. That's funny. That so I was wondering why they took his book bag, and I completely forgot. But see. In Chicago, they weren't still in jam sport. Like, that wasn't luxury or tight to us. We were still Eddie Bauer book bags and stuff. People, if you had an Eddie Bauer book bag, whoo, that boy was like gone, man. People would steal those. So, I forgot back then people would steal those, like, book bags. Like, the first time luxury kind of book bags came out. So, yeah, Eddie Bauer... Yeah. So jam sports out here, especially if um you have the strings, like a lot of strings. I don't know what was the deal about that. <laughs> what you uh, what you mean strings? All the strings. Hmm? What you mean strings? <laughs> like the strings on the the- bag, on the zipper, it would have like different color, oh, okay. kind of like a linear type thing. Yeah. They with different colors, and like they went nuts over them. Mm-hmm. That's like what the girls are making camp or something. Like the strings. 
Yeah, like with the girls are making camp with the screens like over one of the. Okay. <laughs> but you know, Jay, like you, like you come with sneakers now. You see how when sneakers come with that little like hook on it, mm-hmm. and they don't want to take the um the tag or the whatever it is that comes. Yeah, with the plastic. The dance used to have these little rope colored strings that you when you bought them they were on the um the zipper they hung on the zipper and they had like a knot at the end. It was a big thing. Like if you had a lot of strings. You, <laughs> You was getting them. Somebody was about to step to you for your strings, or you was hot shit if you had all these strings. Where you got these strings from? Wow. So they was taking people jazz sport back in the day. So when I saw that, I was just like, "Well, sh- you know your back was gonna get took." <laughs> Hell no, I ain't know that jazz sport. Mm-hmm. That's funny. Now this <laughs> this this was crazy because Kanan man. He been lying a lot, and uh, he lied about some of the dumbest stuff. Mama Jay. I know, but what about when he was talking about he needs some knives? She heard that is like, man, what the hell? This dude talking about some cooking with a knife. Boy, come take this heater. What what you think about this, Gina? Uh, she didn't put the pistol in his hand, and he already had that that heat in his heart because he got robbed, and he already know all the repercussions that's gonna mean. What's up? What you think about this in uh, Palomar? And she gave him a little kiss. She ready to get chose with her fine self. Uh, he sealed it with a kiss, Jay. Boy, I don't think he ready for that. That's veteran uh, territory right there, boy. Gina, what's up? What's with this woman right here? And, and like uh, Kelly say, she sealed it with a kiss. Mm-hmm. She is a mess to me. I do not like that she did that. Mm-hmm. She's beautiful though. I love KJ Smith. Yeah, but she's too old for him. Like you just let him sit out there with your daughter. He is the same age as your child and you like passing him a gun, kissing on him. I don't want nothing bad to happen to you, Kanan. Girl, <laughs> woman, actually. Right. And she's not a child. No, not at all. Full grown woman. Yeah, and then you send him outside, obviously. He's looking for a knife, so he don't know what he's doing. And then you send him out with a gun. Like, what the hell? Hmm. Yeah, he was about to get his ass. Like, what's going on? Yeah, right. He was about to get his ass kicked. Uh, running up on old boy with a knife that yeah. <laughs> that's dumb Savannah River said he, he ain't OJ trying to run up in there with a knife you ain't OJ <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead uh, said that Palomar raised Kanan's kickstand look at look at Savannah I'm on the dead. roll right now <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Kayleezy the one and only Kay Leezy in the building. What's up? What's up with her sealing it with a kiss? Giving this boy a gun? What's up? She trifling, Jay. She trifling. Like Gina said, he's the same age as her daughter. That is just, ugh. It was just really disgusting to see. But she peeped game from the first time they went to the door, right? She peeped game. She saw what was going on. She knew what was going on with them, right? So, come on. She trifling, though. She just she disgusted. Mm-mm. I don't <laughs> like her narrative, but she did help them out. But she knew. She knew what's going on. Mm-hmm. I don't know if she knows who he really is. Um... I'm not sure. I'm not sure if she knows who he really is, what's the connection, but she not easy at tall. That tall. <laughs> um, yeah, man, uh, I definitely think that he not ready for what she going to have in store. But yeah. what I'm wondering more importantly is what is it that she see in him that why are you helping this boy that's your daughter's age like what is she on I mean she live in the projects not to diss people in the projects but if she she look like she should be doing better for herself or could be but for some reason she not so she a hot crash Jay yeah is something is going on is what I'm saying something ain't adding up right there cause if you was uh you know look doing how you presented yourself then you wouldn't be there. 
now you got interest in this little youngster and you giving him a gun you know they partying and and serving doing whatever um who's to say she don't even know he rocks on and maybe yeah maybe think if i give him some of this and he knock me up i could get up out of here i'll be straight i'll have money because that'll be rock's grandbaby and mm-hmm. I'll be here. He can't do nothing. Push me out or whatever. We can move out. Do whatever. <laughs> He'll be whooped. He'll be sprung like T Pain. <laughs> it's probably kill it first. Uh, not if you. Uh, I don't know. I can't put nothing. Rock probably kill her first. Yeah. Like what? You're not messing up my son' life. No. <laughs> yeah, I stopped uh, saying not if because ain't nothing really you can put past what she may or may not do. Um, so, um, shout out to the uh, eighty plus people we got right now watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also, I mean, it is my birthday. I'm here doing the live, working. Make sure we get that content out. I appreciate it. Um, if we get some super chats or something. I please, I appreciate it. Um, but let's go on to the next one. Um, we later see that Kanan go down with that gun. She didn't put the battery in his back and, uh, they didn't caught dude slipping and run up on, on them up in the apartment and Kanan eventually beat the brakes off dude and hit him with the foo fops. <laughs> uh, Kelly, what you think about how Kanan handled this? And how he beat the hell out of dude basically to send a message, don't mess with Kanan. He did a good job. He did a good job. From the beginning, when the dude was opening the door, how he just rushed in. I loved it. I loved every bit of it. It was done the way it should have been done. And, you know, the dude was like, oh, he was going to give it back when we saw. I don't think he really wanted that type of heat anyway. But Kanan had to show him that I ain't just rock son. You're going to deal with me. You because don't have to respect, of me. respect me at the same time. You understand? Yes, right. I'm rock some, but I'm holding my own. Because he ran up on him and he sunned him out in the middle of the street. Like, in broad daylight, you, you, you sunned me. So it's not about now being rock son. And we'll, when we get into the part about rock brother, you understand? Mm-hmm. They both had to show who, the, who they were as independent people. So Kanan had to beat the brakes off of him. And I loved it. Mm-hmm. Was that too too much too much fever? I really no, didn't love no, that. No, no, that was dope. I didn't know if you was uh, <laughs> finished or not, so I ain't wanna. You been having a long pause. I was just double checking. I'm excited, Jay. I'm trying to hold it back. I'm excited. Hey, it's I love all this good. Uh, Gina, what what you think about how Kano Kano handled this? I agree with Kelly. He definitely has to do that because, like she said, he got punks in the street in front of all of those people. It's like, you're not going to be able to hold your head up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Plus, he got to get that back. You know, his mom going to be looking for it. So, I yeah. feel like he didn't have no fear, really, of them. The fear comes from her. It's yeah. like, what right. can they really do to me? That she's, you know, I'm right. scared of her. But, yeah, I feel like he handled it. He had to. Mm-hmm. And this was trash, though. Man. <laughs> He was so scared. Clown. The Kanan let's go. I know, right? Uh, straight clown. Yeah. I agree with both of y'all points. To, uh, you know, I agree that uh, one of the main things that he was trying to do is establish fear of him because they all fear Rock. Nobody really care about him or worried about what he gonna do. They worried about what she gonna do. And that's why he had to literally put boot to ass <laughs> to let them know hey you're gonna have to fear me as well and i don't know if they should have ran the way i don't know because was the police really after them when they pulled up for this or was it that they ran first and then they i mean was it a coincidence i don't know what do you all think you think the cops had something to do with this no just a it was on the corner. The cops been harassing them or whatever have you. I don't know. Maybe it, it could it could have been related in regards to the um 
the, the neighbor calling the cops. Yeah. I mean, they did pull up on them before the call came across the scanner saying an assault mm-hmm. just happened. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. They could have just seen them and was like, oh, we're going to harass them. Mm-hmm. Right. Shout out to, uh, yeah, Trine, thank you uh, for the super Mm -hmm. chat. Say, returning back to B-Day love. She said, Kane had never seemed to fail. He always making messes that he expect his mama to clean up. Why you not strapped with the tool out in these streets? Hashtag R.I.P. Crown. Yeah, I mean, he shouldn't be walking around without being strapped. That's one thing he should know by now. Um... I don't know. Do you all think he going to carry a gun? No, in New York, y'all both New York ladies, it's, it's extra charges with carrying the gun all the time, unlike other spots. So, uh, you know, Kelly, what you think about him carrying the gun more often? Well, now things might be different. Remember, he was still sort of halfway sheltered, halfway out there. So now things might be a little different, but it's going to be illegal. We can't legally carry, you know, guns out here. So he's going to have to get something that possibly don't have no bodies on it. Because what she got, we don't know about this gun that she gave him. But um, he's going to understand now he got to protect himself out in the street. Because he can't let nobody son him like that guy just did. He pulled out a gun on him in broad daylight, you know. Like Gina was saying, you're gonna hurt him like that because he gotta make his name known. He can't just be Roxa. All of them have that. The only person who, to me, never got that energy was Marvin. Other than that, you can't just be Roxa out in the street. You gotta hold your own. So yes, he had to beat the brakes off of that guy. And I like when he came back for two more. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Made sure you got the point. <laughs> exactly. You see how his friend was like. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, he was he was scared over there on the couch. Not no, not me. Don't do me no more, please. No. <laughs> so let they, me say one thing, Jay. Go you ahead. know that reminded me of a little bit of the show you made me watch, um, Pulp Fiction. <laughs> right? How the other right. guy was when he was scared when they came into the room. I was just like, dang, that guy. He shook right now, but he don't want no licks tonight. None at all. Hell no. Let me ask y'all in the audience, what would you rate Pulp Fiction? If you've seen Pulp Fiction, tell me what you would rate it in the uh, in the comments. Uh, I'm just interested to know what you think. I'm not going to say anything else from that. Um, <laughs> Nika S., thank you for the uh, super chat. Birthday wishes. Thank you, sis. I uh, appreciate it uh, for the super chat. Um, support Gamer said, do you think Famous going to run his mouth? I mean, we kind of saw that he didn't, um, at least not yet. Um, what about uh, you ladies? Gina, you think uh, Famous going to do anything stupid, uh, run his mouth or anything? Well, we better shut up. But... Um he, he seems to only get creative after something happens. You know, he's he got a boring life. <laughs> so he's in the cell, like, you know, zone little rhyme or whatever. I hope he don't put that boy getting beat down in the song. <laughs> well, well, I don't think Oprah is going to come back on him. I don't know. Mm. He's just always leaky with the mouth. What you think about his fans in the pen? They wanted him to shut the hell up. <laughs> they was looking at him like, "What's what is he on?" Mm-hmm. We yeah. done seen your we done seen your tapes in the trash, yo. Right. Trash. Trash. Kelly, what you think that's gonna have an effect on him now that he know he trashed literally? Uh, his music is literally trash. <laughs> right. He don't care. Remember, he said he's like, "Oh, now he got stuff to rap about." So. That passed over his head real, real, real quick. He's like, I, yep, I got stuff to rap about now. He been inside. He been inside. For what? All of like what? Right. A couple hours? In a whole right. cell at that. So, exactly. So, you know, he is going to make a song about it. Right. That's true. What you think about his acting skills? I mean, he stepped hard. You don't want to step to this, cuz. You don't want none of this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Uh, okay. <laughs> you, I, you know I don't like Famous. He's not my favorite character. But in this scene, I thought it was nice. You know, you, you got to at least act like you can hold your own. Mm-hmm. We know that he, this is not his life. He's not for the streets at all. Kane and making his, you know, presence be known. He like, come on, Kay, let's go. Oh, Kay, no. You know what I mean? So he not built for it. But um, I didn't mind him in this episode. This is the first time I was like, well, he all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Gina, what you think about his acting skills as far as uh, trying to jump hard? You don't want none of this. <laughs> I agree. He couldn't fold. He knew he was going to be there long. I don't think he knew about the Howard angle. But I, I think that he thought that at least Rock would come. He had the money. So I figured he already knew he was going to be there long. So he was just, you know, finagling for a little while. You think that he thought that Rock was, Kana was going to tell Rock that the money was gone? Uh, maybe not if her, but like he did go to Marvin. Okay. So I'm figuring he figured somebody from the family right. would come. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because they want that money back. Right. Damn, they yeah. needed that. And they said she count every every penny. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. Uh, desserts by Natalie. Welcome to the fam. Uh, hey, this Natalie. Yeah, definitely. Uh, looking forward to uh, having you in the uh, fam. And uh, appreciate you for coming through um, Discord, you know, so... Look forward to uh, seeing and talking to you. Appreciate it. Um, Damien Kenny say the dudes in the cell was jealous. <laughs> but up bump. <laughs> right. Right. Um, it looked like everybody said Pulp Fiction was an eight or a nine. Okay. I'll say eight. Okay. All right. so I just looked at it guys Jay made fun of me because I never saw Pulp Fiction before so I actually recently looked at it, it was like last month, a month or two ago <laughs> right, very <laughs> recently <laughs> Jay was like, I'm going to block you if you don't look at this show, it's a classic Kelly <laughs> Crafty and Kelly in the same boat Boy, the behind, we're going to get up to speed Speak, mm-hmm. speaking of up to speed we saw what happened with with how famous and, and all that stuff going on and being dealt with. What about how Rock is dealing with Lulu? And what is your theory on why she dropped that news here and now? I told y'all in Discord, I think she was trying to manipulate him because he don't have his heart in it. You missing. Okay, I'm going to find somebody you ain't about to miss get you back your heart into the killing mode let's see what's up then uh gina what what's up what you think about rock and how she was hard on lulu right here uh what's 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 her thought process i agree jay i agree with you i feel like yeah she definitely manipulated him definitely she just threw all of that up and crown came to me he wants you out he said, you don't even know what you're doing. Which, yeah, Crown be feeling like that, but mm-hmm. she did do that so that he could get back, you know, in the business that she wants him in. Lulu want to be all, you know, like uh, Marvin said, Quincy Jones, off to the side, in his studio, in his at his label. Mm-hmm. And Rock is like, no, you want to be in these streets, whether you want to or not. Right. Yeah, even uh, old girl said, when you not in the streets, I mean, in the studio. So we'll get to her in a little bit later, of course, and uh, what she about. Um, Kelly, what's up? What you think? What's up with Rock's strategy? What was she trying to do with going so hard on Lulu, crushing him like that? Yeah, she knew what she was doing. I agree with both of you. She she knew exactly what she was doing, and um, it was right on time. Because you know what I wanted to see, so hell yeah. <laughs> Even though she did it for her purpose, I'm happy that I got what I wanted from it too. But um, she knew what she was doing because, you know, he said, um, when she asked him about, is it true that, you know, you um, you missed him on purpose or whatever? I mean, every we all know that 
um, Lulu killing that kid was too much for him at that point because we hadn't seen his mu- interest in music up at that point, right? So that really shook him up. Made him want to do something different. Right. Like, I'm, I don't think anybody's going to understand how he missed Warrell. I just don't think nobody's going to get that. Nope. I'm sorry. Jam or no jam. 77,000 bullets was flying that <laughs> night and nothing hit. Not even the chick, not nothing. So we're not going to get, we're not going to understand how that happened. But Lulu was, um, he, his head wasn't even in the game and he had butter on his fingers. So nothing was going to go right that night. But she definitely lit the fire under him and I loved it. Yeah, I mean, she definitely manipulated the hell out of him big time. And I'll just throw one more thing in there. She sacrificed Crown Camacho like, you know, a pawn. He wasn't the crown. He wasn't the king. He was a pawn. Just so that she can get him to go back into her business. She told that information, not knowing he's going to die, just so you can come back to work. Damn. That's that's cold blooded care and cared less about him. Not that she should have, but damn. But uh, Jay, let me ask you this: Do you think she did it to see if he would have killed Crown to know? All right, he's really, really gone, or a bit of him is still here. That's a good way of thinking about it. I didn't think about it like that. I don't know, uh, Gina. What you think? That's a good one. I didn't think about it like that either, but I'm thinking, you know, by her, you know, twisting that knife, she felt like, you know, he would retaliate against kind of like, you want me out? You don't think I'm nothing? Like, and she laughed in his face. I do without you? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, twisting the knife, I get it. Yeah, she probably made sure. He was gonna kill that dude. He he said you ain't don't even know what you doing. You suck. <laughs> right, but for a fact now <laughs> she knew that he's still a killer. Yeah. And the music he's not that gone so far into the music business where he's gonna sacrifice or he's not gonna take care of his business because of the music. Because Crown said, You you everybody know you can't do this without me. You need me. He was just like he was dying anyway. Lulu killed him in his head before he even saw him. So, well, I think he was also mad because he went to her. Like he said, "You went to my sister, right?" Mm-hmm. Like, like he went to her. Like, okay, you the sister, right. him because I want him set down. Mm-hmm. And I think that really bothered him. Yeah, you know, she calls his shots. And he said, you just rock brother. The same as with Kanan's yes. energy. He's like, you rock brother. Come on, you ain't nothing without rock, basically. Yeah? And that's I, what I, I was you. about to go there with that, too, is that Crown started feeling himself for some reason to the point where he started talking to Lulu like he was the clown, like he was soft, like he was the, the punk. He can take it no more. I think that he reached the point where he couldn't take it no more. You know, like, you don't want to be in this situation. I'm sick and tired of it. And now you're starting to retaliate. You know what I mean? Not because you really brave. That you're just frustrated and you're sick and tired. Right, right. Come on, so. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Ill Woods for the cash app. I appreciate it for the birthday. Uh, oh. Definitely. Um, yeah, man, he, he he choked this dude out, man. Um, do you think that he would have killed Clown <laughs> if he didn't come at him like that and just like have the breaking point that he have where he just let it all out? Do you think he would have killed him immediately? He probably still would have killed him no matter what. But would he have killed him right then and there with the court? Uh, what do you think, Gina? I don't think so. I don't think that he would have, you know, I think he would have waited. I still think he would have died, but it would have took, you know, longer than what it did. I wasn't expecting it, but when he was talking all of that trash and he walks up, I was like, what are you doing? Why are you walking up on him? Like, he's too close. I've been across the room. You're going to have to chase me. Like, you ain't going to get it easy. (laughs) 
I'm going to stand by the door. Hold up. Let me switch positions. I'm going to go by the door. Right. He tried <laughs> to... Gun he, had. he tried to I fight for his... Yeah, he tried to fight for his life, but he don't know how to fight, so he didn't know what the hell to do, and it just looked horrible. Um, but not only that, Jay, Lula was working with a different set of energy from Clown. You understand? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. He had that rage. Right. That always makes a difference. Like, you, a coward could win on the day that their head is in the wrong or right place. You understand? So... Clown was never going to be on that energy level that Lulu came in there with. And then he tried to emasculate him. He dissed him. You know what I mean? Who You you, you ain't nothing. You rock baby brother. Come on now. Right? And you can't do this without me. He just jabbed him. Like Gina was saying, why would you even do that? So I think that, I don't think that um he was going to get it. But you see, Lulu, Lulu mine is different. Remember how he dealt with Unique? Like and he dealt with Warrell, like yo, we not dating, this is business. Right? He dealt with unique like that before. So just as he said in the studio, like, you know, boom, I, I wasn't wilding out with Jessica. You understand? Because I'm not gonna let these chicks get in the way of business. But right. now you disrespecting me and with the business. Right. And then you go into my sister, I right, fine, and now you're trying to play me? Because you sunning me. Remember, he sunned him in the studio the, the last episode in front of the dude. So you sunning me, disrespecting me, hard body. And now you want to, man, draw him up. I was so like, <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm sitting down now. Nah, it's all good. I'm going to ask you one more thing. What's up with the girl Ziza talking about what we going to do next? Uh, what you think is going to happen with that, Kelly? Well, she already showed him that she was giving him pure vibes. And I loved it. When, you know, she said she, she when she came in before and she was asking him about the um, why you ain't tell me that that's your niece song. And like, well, she's singing better, blah, blah, blah. And she'd be thinking about, you know, when he asked her. So I think that she was already feeling him. She threw out those signals. I like how he you know, gave her a little bit of energy, but took it right back from her. And so when she said, what are we going to do? She, she brought his team. She I know. Remember, okay, hold on. Let me just say this and tell me if you remember Gina. When creepy guy, pimp, pimp guy said, that's my niece. And she's like, oh, you're not my uncle. Something is up with them. And I, you know, every time I say I can't let certain things go. So I'm not letting that part go. She on Lulu team. Or she wouldn't have said, well, what are we going to do now? Plus, she's singing to him the song. Yes, yes. So she already associated herself with him because she didn't say, what you going to do now? She said, what we going to do now? So it's like, boo. Well, Gina, what you think about that and uh, what we going to do? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I got to see her next move. <clears throat> Excuse okay. me. I feel like I got to see her next move because... A lot of people thought that Jessica was going to up and up, and she just used him. Yeah. So, but, but did Lulu? I feel, did I feel like Lulu she make the move like to Jessica? Hmm. Did Lulu make the moves to Jessica? Yeah. Yeah. This girl is pursuing Lulu to me. Yes, yes, he pulled up on her, whatever. But she was giving him the, you know, she was giving him the vibes. So it's a different thing. And, you see, he's like, I'm not trying to mix business with pleasure with her, but she's taking it there. So he, that's why he took back that energy. You know, he got up, gave her that look, and then kept on moving with the record, right? I love that part. It that was, was great. a tease. <laughs> I like it. So yeah. she gave him the vibes that he needed to see. She's on his team. If she's not on his team, Lord Jesus, I don't know what else to say. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the channel, Alan. Uh, appreciate you for coming yeah, through man. definitely um yeah man uh i don't know what she mean about we my thoughts is because of course even though she got the Aaliyah vibe going on ain't nothing she could do to help him other than call cartier for reed which is gonna lead to more problems with lulu in the future we definitely get into that on another video but just a little quick thing, I think that he going to get in with helping him help Lulu. Now Lulu owe him and things don't work out properly, to say the least. And Lulu 
can be in over his head with Cartier for Reed. Uh, you know, Kay Leezy, what's your thoughts on, uh, you call him Granddaddy Pimp up in here, Cartier mm-hmm. for Reed. Uh, you know, he come from the Slapaho tribe. Uh, it's an it's a ancient Indian tribe. <laughs> he the last member of the Slapaho tribe. And, uh, you know, his, his backhand game is strong. It's strong. Uh, it's strong, boy. Uh, what do you think about what may or may not happen, and how in the hell is she gonna help Lulu uh, with this? I don't want what you said to happen. I want her to be on Lulu team. She don't like that pimp uncle anyway, right? So I think that she should form an alliance with Lulu. I just don't want her to think that her pimp uncle is going to help unless she has you know further insight so i don't want that angle to happen and she just gotta keep her mouth shut you know open the damn door whatever she got to do hold the door keep the trunk open whatever the case is to help him do your little bit sweetie i hope he don't go back to to tell jesus and his uncle pimp oh no because there's something there's something in the water between them and they haven't showed us what yet but there's something in the water between them okay Mm -hmm. Gina what's your thoughts uh, about what may or may not happen with Cartier Fareed and how is Ziza gonna help Lulu and and what's your little quick theory on that and then after that uh, we gonna do the Mosco uh, for the episode. So, um, what's your thoughts? And uh, and Alice said apologies. Hello, ladies. He got he got good manners. Said apologies. Yeah. Uh, what one journey say? Big old man is fake. He's showing too much. Uh, what what's up? What's your thoughts? Yeah. Oh, I think. It's going to be a bad move if Lulu, you know, gets in bed with Cartier. Mm-hmm. It, like Kelly said, it's something, you know, not right with him and that girl. Mm-hmm. Because he did say my niece and she was like, that ain't my uncle. Like she gave attitude. Mm-hmm. And it's like sometimes, you know, back in the day, some people would run around with young girls and they would call them like their little nieces or their little cousins so it wouldn't look suspicious. Right. Like they came in with a teenage girl. Yeah. Hey, fine. I don't know what's up with him and that girl, but what's I feel up like with if Google does make moves with him, it's it's gonna probably get bad. Yeah. Right. What's up with Rock already kinda almost in bed with him. It looked like she was kinda turned on by his Slap a whole tribe uh, roots. What what? No. Yeah, what you think, Gina, uh, about Rock and uh, what she thought when she saw him uh, slap the hell out of this mug? Look like he's straight from uh, what is it? Uh, the, not the what is it? Uh, everyday people. Who is that? <laughs> everyday people. <laughs> What's their name? I can't remember. I can't remember that either, everyday people. <laughs> anyway, uh look like he's about to bite his nose off right there. Uh what's up, Gina? You think uh <laughs> you think Rock is uh enjoying his uh pimp hand, his pimp game? I think she really did like it because you know, she's all about keeping people in check and the power. So I think she did like it and I think that she's enjoying the time that she's spending with him because Symphony cut her off off. So he she said, I like a man that could tell me about stuff that I don't know. So I feel like she's using him as an outlet to get more educated and what she could be doing to better her business. Mm-hmm. He did break down his little game on where he uh moved making his moves and uh and how he cleaning his money, so you know. This dude was embarrassed right here. He yeah, you just got punked. Arrested development. Was that them? Yeah, it was yes. them. Arrested development. Shout yeah. Out to <laughs> yeah, shout out to Nika, Damien. Yeah. 
That was Arrested Development. <laughs> that was Preach. He smacked the hell out of Preach. So that's what he's been doing after his career. <laughs> it turned into from Preach to Paint. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> All right. Yeah. He got everyday slap right there. That's what he got. All right. <laughs> we about to do the Moscow. That's my rating for the episode. So let's get to it. All right, the Mosco is my rating system. Four simple categories, 25 points max for each category. Give a top score of 100, and you can always break it down, drop off a decimal point, score of 1 to 10. All right, for my ratings, visual cinematography, it was good. It wasn't nothing special. Um, I think that it was average. Um, and I would give it a 20. Um, nothing stands out that I can think of uh, that was uh, unique that we saw. I mean, I guess the Jersey Boardwalk was cool, but, I mean, other than that, that was it. Storyline and plot. I like the storyline. I like all the uh, extra little things going on with the moves between Unique and Rock and everything. And... Uh, uh, I like the Cartier for Reed. This is a good story, Raising Canaan. And uh, this episode was good. We got to see a little more between uh, Marvin and, uh, and, and the confrontation between him and Jukebox Mama and stuff. So I would give it a 25 for this episode. It was a really good story. Um, and we saw Clown get choked out. <laughs> so... Can't, can't be mad about that. Special effects, makeup, costumes, nothing really too special, really. I mean, what, clown getting choked? Um, nothing really too special. So I would give it a 20. And entertainment, fun factor. Um, I liked it. It was very entertaining. Wasn't the greatest thing I ever saw, but it was very good. I would give it a 20. Which would give it a total of an 85 or 8.5 if you are, you know, looking for a score between 1 to 10. And, uh, you know, I always leave a 0.5 moment, I mean, uh, you know, for uh, adjustments. So if you think it was a 9 or an 8, it's a case to be made. Um, Kay Leezy, thank you for the super chat. You're so sweet. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Gina, what would you rate this episode? Um, you could use the ratings or not. It's up to you. I'm going to go with a nine, Jay. Okay. A nine. All right. Uh, anything that, uh, Stood out that made it uh so good to you. I liked Marvin's scenes. Okay. When he was talking in the group, because he never did that. He mm -hmm. was funny. I liked that. And then when he met up with Kenya, he was like distraught to me. It's like he a lot of pain came back to him. So it was like seeing him on two different levels in the same episode. So I like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um, so Gina gave it a 90. Uh, what about you, Kelly? What would you rate it? Well, let me, can I do the most goal? Can you put it back up for me? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So out of bias, I'm going to agree with Gina, right? Because I really did love this episode. But if I think about, let's see if 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 I can give the same thing with it from the most scope. So for visuals and cinematography, I, I give it a 20. Okay. It was, it was cool. Oh, wait, hold on. I'll say I like the Coney Island shot. 
course, I got a rep Brooklyn. So I do like that Coney Island shot. That was nice. So that was Coney um, Island and not Jersey. I thought they was in Jersey. Yeah, no, the neutral spot, that was Coney Island. You saw the Cyclone. It, it was nice. Okay. I like that shot, too. Um, I do like how they incorporated Brooklyn. Um, the storyline and plot, I am... Uh, I loved it. <laughs> you know, it, it, Gina, don't laugh at <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh at me I think I'll give it a 25 I'll go all the way I love the storyline and plot it closed up some things it made some things really um <laughs> so far you was doing what I did I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm clown, clown got what he deserved it was coming for all you guys that's been with us through and through you know I've been hoping for this day so I'm going all the way um special effects makeup yeah, I think I'm just gonna stay safe for the twenty. I did like Unique's jacket. Oh, uh, that looked real good. Oh, good. that ja- I remember that. Co. That jacket. That was, was nice. expensive. The fur yeah, with the checkerboard and the uh, yeah, Love that it. that was nice. That was yeah, nice. Was I'd cool. wear that now. I'd wear it now too. <laughs> if I was balling and and I look good enough like to rock my, it, <laughs> that's my husband jacket. I'm outside of the street with it, whatever the case may be. Oh, hell yeah, I would wear that jacket. Be like, you know, you know, clearly you know it ain't mine, but you know. But I um I love that jacket. But you know, rock normally brings it, but this episode they had her calm, so I'll stay with a twenty. And um, entertainment and fun factor. <sighs> I want to I want to inch up to twenty five, Jade. Okay. Um, because I do love the clown Camacho scene. I love the Canaan scene. I thought that that was great. Um, yeah, I'm sticking with twenty five. So I, I I think I'm with Gina. Okay. Yeah, and you came up with a ninety. So, you know, mm-hmm. it it came out to how your uh, feelings matched up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought it was gonna fall into eight point five, but. I'm not gonna lie, I do like it, and I agree you gave with it Gina. a 25 on the uh, on the uh, fun factor entertainment. So yeah, I um I love Marvin's scene as well. I know we're gonna get into that a little bit more tomorrow, but I loved Marvin's scene. I think he was tearing up. Do you know was he tearing up when he was talking to Kenya? Because it's like, dang, you left, so you really, really left. I love how Rock had the conversation with him. She addressed the points first. Like before mm-hmm. I tell you this, I gotta say my piece. I like that you know, too. Yeah. Right. Like daddy never did me that way. Like you 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 dealt with her like she's something on the street, blah blah blah. Right? Yeah, and that's why I, I said loved yeah, it. as well. He didn't bring up that she spit in his face, but it wasn't the time to be going tit for tat about that. It's so right. just let and us he say is it. remorseful. Right. He's shown that to, I mean we see it on our end, but he is remorseful. And it's just, I loved it, Jay. I really did love it. Before you know, when we I came when I was like, day 10. I know, right? <laughs> Before we go, what's up with Jukebox and the dresses? She don't want to do this, but for some reason, I guess she feel this a connection with her mom or her mom like it. I mean, what what's up with her and the dress? Uh, Gina, what's up with that? <laughs> She definitely was uncomfortable, but she was willing to take the uncomfortability so that she could spend time with her mom. Like, she has to make up, what he said, 16 years? They have been apart from each other. So I feel like, you know, if she wants to stare at the wall, she's going to stare at the wall with her because she didn't have that. Like, Kevin has his mom. She had her aunt that stepped in to be her mom, but she didn't have her mom. So it's like whatever she wants to get. You want to get dresses? You want to paint my nails? You want to do my hair? Come on, let's do it. Who's mm-hmm. excited? Okay, Kelly, what's up? What you think the mom was uh, doing with jukebox and the dress and jukebox? She was looking good, almost unrecognizable, um, and uh, she was making them dresses look good. Uh, <laughs> what's up? What you think was going on with mom? Is she thinking that's a little baby going? catch up with all the missed time with dressing her up in little dresses and Easter dresses or, or what? So, um, I did not like this part. Um, I thought it was beautiful to look at, 
but I didn't like this part because she's been maintaining who she has been all this time with her sexuality and she's been committed even even with the music that she loves so much that she gave that um passionate song and you know to her dedicated to her girlfriend but you could tell like rock said um she's reaching out to her for what you didn't give her and you see that she's making this sacrifice and compromise for her mom and i just go back to lulu and Mar- marvin again right where um he said no no marvin when marvin had the altercation with juke he said oh you got that you got the lebanese from your mama's side of the family you know what i mean i forgot about that right so i want to see how that part comes into play right but Jay, before I hand it back to you, I just want to say hello to my cousin Chanel. She's tuning in from Trini right now. So, hello. <laughs> hey, Chanel. Hey, yes. hey. I okay. never saw that Chanel spelled that way. So, that's definitely unique. I think um, it was some German influence at one point. I'm not sure. But, yes. <laughs> shit, yeah, they do. I've have been wanting her to come through. And she's always sleeping this time. So, thank you, Han. At least you know we're reaching Trini already, Jay. I see. We worldwide up in this piece. That's what's up. Yes. Yeah. One thing about Jamaica, now we in Trini. <laughs> yeah, definitely. One thing about uh, YouTube and uh, the technology is that in the uh, algor in the analytics section, I can see where everybody's tuning in. How many people? I can see if they on the iPhone, Android. How okay. long people what so yeah it got a, it's pretty detailed but yeah that's what's up the the majority the number one place I get viewers where do you think it is it's in the U S of course but where do you think the number one viewers come from you go ahead Gina it's New York <laughs> really Jay New what York oh uh, <laughs> we got it. Hello. Hello. Um, yeah. It's the last channel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. New York in the building. Um, That's right. The only reason I think is maybe because so many of these shows we talk about it in New York, maybe I'm guessing. I don't know. Well, Jay, I just want to say you got it live and direct because everybody else channel, I don't see they really repping for us hard like that. So we coming through for you, Jay. Well, we really are connect. Hey, <laughs> definitely. Um, mm-hmm. More so than Chicago, than Illinois. Uh, they on the list, but they ain't number one, though. Okay. <laughs> Real one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Victor say he going to take me to the DR. That's what's up. All right. We'll see what goes down one of these days. <laughs> yeah, one journey said, "Wow, NYC fire." Yes, big city of dreams. <laughs> Savannah, I appreciate it. Glad y'all enjoy it. Uh, Jocelyn said, "Kelly, I'm not sharing Marvin with you, but I still love you." Well, all right, fine. We'll share him on the DL. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so we get ready to wrap it up, but before we go, um, let me ask you a real quick, you know, what's your thoughts on the next episode, predictions, whatever the case, uh, just a quick thoughts. It don't have to necessarily be based off of the trailer, uh, but what's one thing that may happen or that you would like to see happen? Uh, for the next episode, uh, you know, Kelly, what's your thoughts? Uh, what what may or may not happen for the next Jay, episode? What's up? I'm having some technical difficulties, Jay. All right, I see you kind of frozen, Gina. What's what's your thoughts on uh, what may or may not happen for the uh, next episode? Okay, so I did see the trailer. I want to see who. Who Rock got that gun for? Like, she was pointing it out the car, it looked like. So I want to see that. And um, 
I want to see Howard and Rock's confrontation because their their little scenes be spicy. Yeah, something went down. Like we we heard um, Burke say that he was undercover. You know, during that time that Keenan was conceived and stuff. So I wonder if she's gonna bring it out some because she don't want people to know that Keenan is his son. So I wonder if she's gonna like bring it out like um, you were a grown man. And you were under cover. So I didn't technically know that you were a cop. So I don't know. I want to see that confrontation. That's a good point. And uh, they are probably the best two actors on the show. Uh, so they seems you can feel it without even thinking about it. You know, uh, Omar Epps, we all know his resume. And uh, Rock, you know, she's been doing a great job. Patina Miller, uh, she's been doing an excellent job. I know that uh, I think Kelly said something about her uh, accent, though. <laughs> I love it. I okay. love her. I, I, she's doing a good job because even with that accent, which seems to be getting a bit better, she's doing such a great job to me. Like, I am a fan of hers now. I would like to see her do something different because I'm a fan I'm a fan I think that this was a really really good job and um even though I don't like the Italian accent that she got <laughs> yeah I mean she she I like how she sound and how she talk but I don't know how each borough or group sound or whatever so um I ain't picking up on the authenticity aspect of that, but uh, it just sounds who we gonna do what we did. We talk, we do even though I'm Kenya, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter. I yeah. laughed when Marvin said daughter, like the way he smoothed that out. I was like, oh my gosh, because she was killing me that last episode, like my right? daughter, my, mm-hmm. my, my daughter. <laughs> This yeah. episode was really good, Jay. I like I stand behind that nine on the most school because um, if everybody who had their qualms about last week, I hope y'all satisfied this week because they they gave us enough. Like we feel we had gravy on everything. The meat was big. I, I loved it. Mm-hmm. I can't wait for tomorrow or later on tonight so we can get into Burke. We can get into Marvin. We could get into Howard. Like, I can't wait. There's so much. Like, we couldn't even fit it into an hour. Yeah, so much to talk about. So make sure y'all come through Sunday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. We will break down all of that good stuff that we wasn't able to get to tonight. And mm-hmm. we will, you know, keep it going and uh, make sure y'all come through. I appreciate it, everybody coming through. On my birthday and everything, I know I'm I'm an old man and it ain't the same no more. But I, I appreciate all the love and support. A couple people said I should have been out and about, man. I'm old, man. I was back home. I did go out today, do a little bit, but I ain't trying to be out in these streets. People crazy out here, man. So, you know, I, I come home and, and mind my business, but... I do. I'll show a picture. I'll share a picture of me out and about. I'll post probably one of these on Instagram, but I'll share a picture. That was me out and about earlier. Yes, Jay. <laughs> Jay in the pod. <laughs> <laughs> Driving out and about, man. Trying to trying to hang in there and make it. So, yeah, I do drive and stuff. So, I know. People that ain't in Discord may not know that, but I try to try to hang in there and, and make it. So she say she say I'm just beginning to live. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Jeez, Jay, you're eight, just like me. Okay. Yeah, I wish. I wish. We youngest in this game. Right, Chanel said it was her son's birthday. Oh, you got a good son. Happy birthday, son. <laughs> Kyle. That's Kyle's birthday. All right. <laughs> there I go. I need to get me some sun. Speaking of sun, I need to get me some yes. sun. 
But I threw on my little little couple little outfit on or something, man. Went out with some family, uh, and uh, you know, had a little bite to eat, so it's all good. Yes. I'm getting too old up in here, man. Getting too getting getting too big for my britches these days, man. You're but, right, Jay. We not old. Cause if you calling yourself old, you calling me old, and I ain't old, Jay. Nah, you 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 look great. I don't know. When I see myself, I'll be like, man, time is time is working, ain't it? <laughs> you good. Uh, <laughs> you real good. I'm hanging in there. Uh-huh. One Happy journey say I'm, I'm hanging in there. Savannah, 55. Hey, congrats right. to that double nickel. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> And at the end of the day, man, we got to make the most of each day and and try to enjoy the little things, man. The little things, that's what add up to the the spice of life, the flavor of life. You know, without the little things, it's it's dull. It's like, you know, white bread with nothing else on it. It, You need some flavor on there. You need some sauce. (laughs) Savannah says she wants some of that Kelly Skin Tonic. Savannah, I got you, okay? I got you. Don't worry about it. I got you. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're going to be showing it off. You're going to be showing it off. I got you. Mm-hmm. Say I'm balling. I ain't balling. Shoot. I may be balled in. Lord Jesus, Jay. Balled in. <laughs> not balling. Mm-mm-mm. That's about it. All right, y'all. I appreciate everybody. Make sure y'all come back tonight at 10 Eastern. And uh, we will break down some more of the rest of the episode we ain't get to. Um, I appreciate all the love, support. Okay, Leezy, thank you directly. Um, appreciate you. And uh, Gina, definitely for coming through. All the support and love as well that you shared. I uh, definitely appreciate it. Um, as well and uh, everybody over 150 people uh, at one point so appreciate everybody for coming through um, for the first reaction and uh, we will be back next week for the first reaction for the next episode too so come on through and uh, we out of here peace bye we out of here